Hello, and today I'm going to do a video tour of the equipment I use in my small garden business. So this is basically mostly complete of all the equipment that I would need to start a business. Um, and I'll give you a tour of what obviously each one is and its uses and why I think you would need it. So first, you've got obviously a petrol can, so if you have petrol equipment like a mower or strimmer or whatever, then obviously you're going to need to have petrol in there to fill it up. And it's probably recommended that you take it on the job with you. I don't because mine are usually smaller and I usually fill it up before I leave anyway, if it needs it. Um, so a petrol can with petrol in, that's obviously needed. Obviously if you have petrol tools, if you don't, then it's not needed. Oil, obviously, SA30, which is for lawn mowers like this. The oil and petrol need to go into the engine. Now, the oil would go in there, and the petrol would go in there on this mower. Um, and then safety goggles, these are more like what I call like science experiment goggles because they're literally like they're literally like really big and like have like a like adjustable sort of not adjustable but you know, a pulley bit that you go on the back of your head and that's for like takes your eyes from like streaming or edging or so anything doesn't fall in your eyes and could damage it and gloves obviously these are useful because you don't really want to be touching everything and if it's wet then you'd be getting all muddy hands and I mainly use these for if I'm maybe weeding or maybe picking up bits for, or something you know, you don't really want to touch with your hands. And then over here, this is one of the purchases I made at the end of last year, I think it was around sort of September time. Um, it's this plastic lawn rake, or leaf rake. And it's a fairly small one, but I haven't really used it much, but so I think it would be fine for me. So I think what this one is for, um, it's basically, I would say it's better for, because it's plastic, it's better for like leaves and twigs and stuff. So like in autumn, if you're trying to rake all leaves up into a pile, then this is the one you'd need for that. Also, I forgot to get the other rake, but it's basically just a metal, like a, a tine rake, which is like one that you would use for um, like raking out moss or thatch or anything like that. One actually like rips like bits out of the ground. This one is where it's like, for leaves and twigs and stuff. It's mainly going to be something that you'd use in like the autumn or spring, or maybe even if you've cut a hedge or something, you want to rake all the cuttings up. But it's not really going to forget moss out because it doesn't actually like go into the ground. Um, then you've got this. This is a purchase that I've made recently. I haven't really used it that many times because some of the people I do, they're in new houses and it's all quite new and they've got all weed weed sheet so you can't really edge it um, yeah it's basically just a straight lawn edger so it's kind of like a spade but it's just flat so curved you stick it into the ground at the edge of the lawn that you want to edge of the lawn say for example if you wanted to put an edge in here or something then you could basically just like stick it into the ground and then it cuts that bit off and then you should if you're doing it careful enough you should have a nice clean straight edge this is a purchase I made very recently, I haven't used it much yet because I haven't really had, I would love to, but I haven't really had any customers that have, you know, bushes or hedges or they do it themselves. Um, it's basically just a cheap battery powered 18 volt sovereign hedge trimmer from home base, which cost me £45. Um, and it's just like a small 45 centimetre width or length trimmer which is suitable for I'd say smaller bushes and shrubs mainly for ones you can you know reach to the top of um oh this this uh edger was I think I got it in a Sainsbury's and it was in like you know in a sale for like five pounds this rake I'm pretty sure I got it from probably about 14 pounds maybe this was last year in home base this is just you know an ordinary but like five litre petrol can or something you can just pick up anywhere usually about four or five pounds this is just 
the handy is a 30 oil. I think this was about six pounds something. The gloves were given to me by college. That was given to me by my neighbours. Um, so you can just get them for very cheap really those goggles. Get them anywhere. Screw fix. Now you may be wondering what this is. This is a bag which contains two pop-up bins. So it's circular bins obviously, but it has like there's two different sizes, smaller and larger, and um, you basically pop them up and you can put all the stuff that you've cut or whatever, Just for example hedge trimmings, grass cuttings, anything that you, you know, that would be waste, that would go into a garden bin, would go into these and then when you finish them you can push them down and there's little bits you tie on both sides and it ties them together and it you know, just neatly packs packs away in this circle bag thing and you can just store it away in your shed or whatever storage thing you have instead so of it being you know just solid plastic ones to take up all the room and it's good if you have like a small boot space in your car as well because you can just put it in there and it's not really going to matter unless obviously bins are full and you just empty it but with, with it just like that you can store a lot more in there um, this is a purchase probably the biggest purchase I made last year was I finally upgraded my strimmer so it's a Dewalt DCM 561P1S I think of that one it's basically an 18 volt uh, brushless strimmer um, with a split shaft so you basically press a button in there and it splits so you can store it easier um, and I think so far for what I've needed it for it has been good so far there would be a few things i would probably improve like i probably want this guard to either be smaller or maybe more further away from the trimmer head because i always find that it always the trimmer line always gets cut too short so that would probably be the only improvement i would make really the battery is fine and i bought a second one in the last month because i wanted for like larger jobs, the battery would run out, where normally it wouldn't because it usually has a, run, a good run time. But if it's like longer grass or just a bigger garden, then it's going to run out. So I've got two batteries for it now, so that should give me a lot more run time. So yeah, the strimmer was, I think it was around sort of 140, 150, you can get them for like under 200 or something. And it came with the 5 amp battery, and I've got another 5 amp as well, which you can get for about 55 60 pounds just on its own. Um, these are Sucketeers, these are actually my dad's ones because I had them, but they got I had my own, but they got really blunt. But these I have I don't really use these, these are just you know, handheld loppers, really, they're just like pruning little things, um, little like bits off my fish or shrubs or something. And these are trap forks there which, which is a cool cast one and they, these are cool cast bypass muppers I think they were five pounds in um, home base last year and these were I think were probably around the same price in home base when I was doing a bit of weeding a uh, job about a month ago it sort of it like a massive like bit of grass I was trying to get out which I couldn't it like bent this bit so it's kind of annoying but it's fine, and yeah, so these are obviously just for like weeding like borders or pots, just you know, just sort of more sort of handheld weeding, really. Um, and this is what I've got last year as well, these are more sort of shorter bypass. No, these are just loppers, um, so they're basically just like an extended sucketeers, really. It's got a, a cover thing put on the blades, and you just sort of open the arms and trim it, trim stuff really. It's, I guess it's probably better for maybe longer reach, taller stuff, um, or I don't know, maybe thicker. But yeah, it's just another broom tool. This is a broom. Um, this is basically just for now, because I haven't got a leaf blower. I will be, I would like to get one soon. And um, this is just for like sweeping up stuff, which could be grass cuttings or leaves or anything really. Um, which you would need it for and I don't know how much this costs because 
I this was my granddad's and he doesn't live in, in his actual home anymore, so we've had this for a while. Sucker tip not loppers I think because I got this about a year ago I think. They probably cost me about I feel like they cost about seven, eight pounds or something. And this is the most this is the biggest purchase I've made so far this year of the uh, equipment which I only make one big purchase a year because it's mainly like a tool that I need or I have to replace something um, which is this it's a challenge 40 centimeter 129 cc petrol mile the model name is XSS 40e you would have seen this in my last three videos um, so it's basically just a cheap budget this is the hand repelled version cheap budget petrol mower from Argos it's like one of those cheap ones you'd see if you go into home base or whatever um, it's got a 40 centimetre width so it's a small one but for the jobs that I do it's absolutely fine for me um, so you basically just press this about five times from a cold start so maybe for the first you know pull of the day then you want to do that but once you've like, used it then you need to keep on pressing that and then you basically just hold the safety lever here like all mowers nowadays have and then you just pull the cord pull the uh, recoil cable usually one or two times usually two times for me it may take two times for it to pull and then it will start um, and yeah this was 150 pounds the self-propelled model which is best it's the same thing but it's the self-propelled is 170 pounds so it's only 20 pounds different it's not that bad really and i think so far it has actually it's done me well because i used to have the same brand but it was like a push along cylinder mower and that just basically had it and I realised it wasn't suitable for the jobs that I ended up getting um, so I had more customers this year than just like family members um, so this has definitely been the best one of the best things I've got this year the blades could maybe do a bit of a sharpen just because I've started you know, using it and putting it through taller stuff but so far I think this should be good for if it lasts me two three years then I'd be happy enough with that and probably by then if I you know if we have more customers and stuff and have more work then I'd probably end up just having upgrading to something more expensive and better that can last me more years um, but if you're you know starting out this is all you really need if you're doing more sort of normal size gardens you don't need some 500 pound Honda mower or something maybe if you know doing like massive like field lawns or something then maybe but if you just do normal sized British lawns that gets done maybe once a week once every other week or something this is all you need to start I mean yeah sure you may want to get a 18 inch in the future or have multiple but for now for starting this is all you really need um, so I think that has pretty much got me to the end of the tour. Um, the other tools that I want to get for or more sort of items was I think it'd be three items. I'd like to get a battery powered leaf blower because for what I would need it for really is just blowing gas covers at the moment. I don't really think that expensive because even though battery ones don't have the longest run time I don't really need like a big petrol one because all I'm going to be doing really is blowing grass from like you know for example if I shim along here I want to blow the grass back onto the thing so I can collect all the mower at the moment if I do it with the broom it just takes ages and I want you know time saving equipment so I can get things done quicker but you know still enjoy it and I would like to get a so a cordless leaf blower and then the next thing I'd like to get is a um, 
it so I put along the garden carts thing so I think if it's like a like a mini trailer with like a pull along handle that you can basically yeah put some of your tools in and you can just wheel it round so like maybe if you've got some houses that you go to in your local area you don't really need to drive to then you can just put your stuff in there and you just wheel it along so it's basically as if you've got a little trailer and it, you know if you're at a customer's house maybe you can put stuff in there and move it around the garden instead of having to like carry it so that's one other thing I like to get a long garden car and I think that's about 50, 50 pounds from home base um, so that would be something I'd like to get and uh, I think there's actually four things and the third thing I, I think it'd be useful in the future if I had a um, like a wheeze puller it's like more of like a sort of stick thing that you like put into the ground and you like press down in it and it like pulls the weed out instead of you know, having to yeah, manually get it out of like a little fork or something so that would probably be useful for some jobs if you're weeding the actual lawn but you know you don't want to like damage it like a big spade or anything and then the thing that I would only would want to get if I ended up having more head trimming jobs but for most for now I wouldn't actually need it would be a longer would be a battery powered like extendable pole head trimmer and the one I saw was from the same brand as this it's another it's a challenge one it's like an 18 volt hedge trimmer but it's like a pole one so you can extend it and stuff so you can like do like tall hedges and so instead of obviously you've got the normal one it's like a handheld one you have like a long long reach one that can go up higher and um, stuff so for example if you see that we've got a bush over there I wouldn't be able to reach that with the hedge trimmer unless I had like a ladder or something but with the pole one I'd be able to do the top of that um, so it's more sort of tools for more jobs really but I would only get that if I end up actually doing hedge jobs because I haven't really used this yet apart from our own garden I want to use it at people's garden other people's but I just want you know more sort of work and some of the people that I've been going to are in new new estates new developments so it's all quite new and there isn't like massive hedges or anything so so yeah this is basically what I would say what you would need if you're starting out and probably not for most people because most people would rather have a petrol strimmer a petrol hedge trimmer but this is what I these are the tools that I have so far and I thought I'd show you because I was wasting a bit until I actually had more equipment instead of just you know a mower and a strimmer or something um, so these are the stuff that I use I don't take all of it because I don't usually need all of it on one job I usually really need most of the time the mower and the strimmer maybe a broom that's usually about it and obviously just the goggles and gloves Apart from that, I don't really need much other stuff for the things I have been doing. Um, oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> so, I don't know why that happened, it just fell off the tripod. So this is what you basically need, or what I use, to start my business off small and just on my own. I could do this as like a yearly update. Not like exactly a year later, but I could just like a yearly thing because if I get more or better equipment over the each year, then I can you know, always update it and show where I'm at. And so when I first started, when I was 11, I literally just had a push along manual mower and this cheap cordless trimmer, and that's pretty much all I had. Now, obviously, I've got this, all this stuff and I'd like to expand more but only when I need to and only things I would actually would need or find time saving so hope you enjoyed the video and I will
see you in the next one, whenever that would be, which would probably be another grass cutting one at someone's house or something. I would like, what I would like to do is other like bits of like gardening stuff as well because I had realised that, you know, just watching a video of me pushing them up and down the garden is can get a bit boring, especially if it's the same houses. Um, so I'd like to do other videos where maybe it's just me doing a bit of weeding in a border or a hedge trim video. That's something that I'd like to do so I could test out the hedge trimmer and see maybe how long it lasts for or something or, you know, other other things and just pushing my back and forth and using a trimmer. I want to, you know, show that I can do other parts and not just the mowing. That's just all I've really done because that's all the equipment I've ever actually had. So... I would hope to get more content filmed over different stuff and maybe I could do stuff in the autumn as well like leaf clearances with the mower and see how that how holds up and so yeah I'll see you in the next one